All right, okay, all right, okay. I think we're all caught up here. I think we all exist now. I think we all exist. I think we all exist. Gamers, I'm bummed out. I just found out about Taco Bell's new cantina menu or whatever. And my local Taco Bell is so f fucking being torn down that it doesn't show up on Google Maps anymore. And it's like, I just don't, I don't, how, how am I supposed to go on? How am I supposed to go on like this? Knowing that I have to drive at least 12 minutes to get to another Taco Bell to even try the cantina menu. Ah! Oh. Noobsy Borg and Sinisto. Thanks for subscribing, and that reminds me I have to get my... I have to open another thing on my computer here before I start the stream for real. What did I have for breakfast today? Cinco Gadas Duncan. I had a new day. I had some kind of wrap. I have no idea what the fuck was in the wrap, because it was basically just slop, but it kind of tasted like spinach artichoke dip, so that tasted good. You know, I like spinach artichoke dip. That's pretty good. Alright, let me get this back where it belongs. Back where it belongs, there we go. Okay, so, as previously discussed, we're going to be doing game dev today, since I can't, I don't have the bandwidth to do four hour long streams. When there's a month old baby in the house, it needs to be taken care of. So, we're gonna be doing some game dev. I believe we haven't touched game dev since before the baby was born, so we gotta have to catch up what we're doing. We're working on the Nathan Drake boss fight. We're trying to get the rising platforms to work, and this is gonna be a bit of a heck to jump back into because it was complicated. So let's see what we can get going here. Let's see what we can get going here. Let's see, let's see. Oh boy. Uh, how do I do this? Just plug it in. Oh my. Try to remember how this works. Okay, let's see if we can't get this sucker to capture something. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Shut up, everyone. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Shut up. Everyone, shut up. Shut up. I don't know what I'm doing. Shut up. Uh, how do I stream? How do I stream? Okay, let me unplug and replug the uh, the game capture HD sixty S, whatever you call it. Uh, fuck. Okay, not gonna do it. So how life works. Is that it? Uh. Come on, it's gonna be hard enough catching up with this. I just need to. Ugh. It's hard enough to get back into this. I don't need the hardware issues, too. Come on. Do, do I not have the cable plugged in on the laptop correctly? Is that what this is? Because I thought I did. Okay. Okay, that should be in correctly. I just popped the CD drive open. Good. I guess I'll turn this sucker off.
All right, come on. Give me footage. Give me something. Come on, game capture. Piece of crap. Just capture the footage, you butt tickler. <clears throat> oh, Lord. I know the laptop's fine. It has to be this garbage fucking capture device. It's the only explanation. Come on. Spit something out, you garbage thing. Ugh. What an annoyance. Capture something, you piece of crap. This is 100% the Elgato, or possibly the converter I'm using, but, you know. Like, really? Like, really, really? Ugh. I don't need this right now. I really don't. Like, I really don't need this right now. We'll do this the hard way. Device manager. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, gamers, I'm so frustrated right now. Like, I really don't need to be dealing with this shit not fucking going through. Got enough that I'm dealing with that I don't want to deal with this. Really don't want to have to deal with this shit. Is it just the computer? Do I need to progress past the date and... It's working. Oh, what? I don't give a fuck. I genuinely don't give a single fuck. There you go. Okay. Off to a great start, every gamer. I'm sure we're gonna get a whole lot done today. Wow. Fucking garbage. Uh, let's see. Lord. All right. I wish this Diet Pepsi had more deadly chemicals in it like the Monster Energy drinks do. I really wish it did. Be great. Oh. 
Pong. Ding, 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 ding. Welcome to Windows 98. Why are you still using Windows 98? What is wrong with you? Stop buying computers from thrift stores, man! Okay. Alright, we're back here. We're back. Oh, Jesus. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Mufi, thanks for the gift subs. That is neat and cool. Okay, so let's see where we left off with this fight. So we had the platforms that were gonna rise. Why do I have a go up block down here? I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. So let's see where we left this off. Platforms go up, and we need to work on Drake's positioning. Sent. What was that? Oh, we, we kind of, like, glitch into them a bit and pop up, but good enough. Alright. Up. Up, up. Mm -hmm. up. 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 Okay, that worked fine. Up, up. We come up here, we should, we should be able to pop him once we're up here. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Where's all the code we have to catch up on that you aren't allowed to comment because commenting doesn't work? Don't know what I was doing with this debug key. Okay, so, what is actually kicking off the rising of the platforms? Let's see, so, boss state, blah blah blah, boss state is one. That's when they start going up. Okay, we have some kind of... A1. C. Y. Oh, God. Ugh, oh, Christ. Like, I remember any of this. Um... Yeah, I think we have just a bunch of basic kind of debug code in place. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna do this. Really basic debug code here. Alright, let's just create a platform controller. Like, I really need something to keep track of something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's see. We need some way to keep track of this shit. Yeah, whatever. Okay, you can go there. Platform controller. Give me a name. Platform controller. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Boss health equals 28, and phase equals whatever. So counter to one. So, boss state counter equals one. Let's do this. Okay, we need to have some new events here. So, when boss state is one, and the platform controller's alterable value A equals zero, we're going to change it. For debug purposes, we're going to set it to 3, which is going to represent the rightmost selection of platforms. So, value, set it to 3 for now. Later on, we'll, we'll work on randomizing shit. Let me check this zone we're working with. There's just nothing up there. So, there's nothing up there. This is what raises them. So we're gonna replace boss state check with the platform controller. <clears throat> Where is that sucker? 
Yeah, so if it equals three. Well, hold on, what are we doing with these guys? So they get pushed up. I have to try and remember what we were doing with these guys. So they get pushed up. C equals Y. Why are we setting C to Y? Oh man. Should not have spent this much time away from this. Really shouldn't have. Why are we setting alterable value C to the Y position? I don't remember. I don't remember why we were doing that. Alterable value A of the platform controller equals 3. And these things aren't way too high up. And... Position. Okay, so let's see about position. So, where are these guys located? Okay, where's their center? Top left. Good. That makes it easy. So... These are 64 by 64 blocks, right? 32 by 32, okay. 32, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Two is four sixteen. Okay. So if the block's X position is greater or equal to four sixteen, oh. we're gonna raise them up. Ultra value A equals zero. What were we doing with alterable value A? I don't understand why we're setting C and A. I don't. It doesn't make sense. I, I guess I'm just going to get rid of these two events. I don't know why I put those there. I don't. It doesn't. It, why did I do that? Subway, we're winners eat. But as far as I can tell, the platforms are still working. Oops, okay, that's that's glitchy, but that's kind of very glitchy. What the fuck? Okay, I need to see the Laura colliders. Why is that happening? Okay, the grab helper is related to the Laura player, which will stop making me invisible for now. Why is that happening? Realize we had control in the opening here. It doesn't matter, but we can fix it later. Of course, now that I have it on, it's gonna work fine. We get up here, once we're up here, we're gonna shoot him. Okay, so let's turn that collider back off, I guess. Okay, so. 
There should also be a timer. So we can use the platform controller to do that. We can use value C as the timer. We'll set value C. Do we want to count down or count up? Let's count down. Let's see how counting down is going to work. Okay, how's the timers? Where are the timer segments again? Hundreds. Let's set it to a thousand. So, if value A is greater than zero, and value C, damn it, it's never easy. How's my week? Uh, you know. Value C is greater than zero, then every one dinky second, we're gonna remove one of the values. We're gonna, we're gonna subtract from C1. Alright, then. If alterable value A is greater than zero, and alterable value C is less than or equal to zero. We will set alterable value a Okay, I need to test something here. I want to invert alterable value A. If it's 1, I want it to be negative 1. If it's 2, I want it to be negative 2, etc, etc. Obviously, you do that by multiplying the value by negative 1, but I know we've had issues with math and click and play in the past, so let's go check our test world and see how that worked out. Where's the math? Where's my math test? Here we go. Okay. So. We're doing division here. Negative 1 divided by 2 equals the wrong answer. So let's try this. Negative 1 times 2 real quick. Let's multiply them together. And yeah, that doesn't work, does it? Fucking hell. No, I didn't save it. Mm. Now I saved it. Let's look again. Okay, it does work. Okay, just had to be sure before we tear our hair out trying to troubleshoot something. Okay, so, once we hit that point where we've counted down, we will set alterable value A to itself times negative 1. Okay. And then we have to have the platforms go down. So if alterable value A equals negative 3, X position is whatever, then we need a new zone here. Extend the sucker down. See the border of the thing. Ugh. I'll try it kind of like that. Try it like this, and we'll experiment as needed. Okay, so if the number of blocks in that zone is greater than zero, and we're going to be bringing it down.
I just realized the code we have for the blocks has to be adjusted as well. Hmm. I mean, the, the hanging bits. Not the blocks, the hanging bits. Should I just duplicate this? It's annoying, but I, I, that might be the easiest way. Pop it down there instead. We'll worry about this, but let's save this and see how it works. are now 8 pixels too far down. Also, by now, that timer should have ticked over and they should be going back down. Oh! Yeah, that part works, but <laughs> it took too long. Um, okay, hold on. So let's see. Let's try switching the positions, maybe? Did that even work? The problem might be that this this test for the zone, if there's blocks in that zone, like, by the time it finishes here and goes to the next one, it's seeing that blocks are in that zone. So it's, like, not running it for the one extra step it needs, so that's possible. Now they're lined up. 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 Now let's see. I think we have to lower the timer for how long it's going to take for them to drop. Let's see how they drop. That works surprisingly well. Um, okay. Where did I set that timer? Here? Yep, up here. Okay. Okay, let's try cutting it in half. There might be too much, but... Let's see how it works. <clears throat> Subway! We're winter seat! Alright, goes up. Let's see if we can climb it in time. Up. Up. Oops. Up. 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 Oh! <laughs> it was... it was too short. So let's try for an in-between there. Maybe 700. Should be enough time that it falls now. Okay, kind of works. Um, 
Now we need to see if they'll come back up correctly. That's also kind of important. Okay, I want to swap these two positions because of what we did before. Okay. So. Ultral value, A equals minus three. And the number of fuckers in a zone is now zero. Then we're gonna set alterable value A back to zero. So theoretically what's gonna happen here is after all the blocks go back down, they're instantly gonna come back up again because, you know, of the events we have set up. So let's see what happens. Pop down and immediately pop back up. Wow, they, not only did they come back up, but the little grab points are still in the correct position, which is honestly surprising to me. I expect everything to get all out of whack. I'm surprised I worked the first time. I thought we were going to be troubleshooting that. <clears throat> Genuinely surprised I worked. Okay, let's see if we can fix Drake not rising with the blocks. Uh, so he's overlapping. this up like, I don't fucking know. Subway, we're winter seat. Rather than checking for the sandwiches, we should just check for Drake. Like, what am I doing? Overlapping and yeah, just check for Drake's Y position. Why do they do this in such a stupid fucking way? Let's find. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to toy with the number. Let's try 32, and we'll tweak it from there. Subway, we're winter seat. I did that wrong. <laughs> I did less than 32. I should have done greater than 32. Subway, we're winter seat. Thirty-two was surprisingly good. Okay. We need him to drop down as well. So if alterable value A is less than zero, and I was about to try and do, and Drake is not overlapping a block, and we can't do that because it's bullshit. Okay, if it's less than zero, and Drake's Y position is less than 6480. Hey Siri, what's 480 minus 32? This. Subway, we're winter seat. Okay, 
Okay, and now he should drop down with them as well. Let's see. He does. We have to adjust the value for the bottom, but he does. Hey Siri, what's 480 minus 64? 480 minus 64 is 416. Okay, so I'm hoping he lands on the ground now. He might not. It really depends on where his hotspot is. <laughs> okay, close. We can adjust it. Not, not, not there. Uh, 400? Just want him to land his ass on that on that ground. Subway, we're winners eat. I'm really surprised and pleased that the platforms are properly rising back up after they go back down, because I really thought that was gonna be a glitchy mess. Okay, yep, 16 works, or whatever I did. Alright, so he goes up and he goes down. Okay, so... Okay, what we need... Okay, before we code actually hurting Drake... What we need to code in is so... After the... After the blocks go down, there's a short timer... Where Drake... You know... Attacks... Moves around and stuff... And then... Uh, and then the tower comes back up. But if Drake shot footlongs, he could. I mean, who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna stop me? In fact, I could have sworn we already had a sandwich. But I think we deleted it when we decided to change his attack pattern. Use Dumbo. Dumbo would never team up with Drake. He just wouldn't do it. Did I save? Let me save. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I'm just in my head trying to figure out how you should attack. Because you gotta remember, Laura's movement is a little limited. the control. I'm pretty sure doing this right now, ignoring restoring the control, isn't going to work because we have code for the long jump, which controls that, which controls her control, so the control is probably going to be restored instantly, but we'll, we'll, we'll try it anyway. Restore control. Okay, no, no, I can't control, that's good. Once the health goes up, I should get control back. I do. Okay, good. That, that was another pleasant surprise. Oops. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no! Laura, please! Okay, there we go. There's that bug again! Oh, I'm up here now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, uh... Drake's attack. What does Drake do in the games where trying besides run and jump and climb and scream? Like, honestly, does he do anything, or is that all he does? Is he just a? Is 
stupid guy. Does he cry? Are you thinking of n new Laura? Equips. Um, let's have him throw Subway sandwiches. It's the only thing that makes sense. Let's see. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this is not going to end up being another joint. It's a, it's a wrapped Subway sandwich. It's, it's in its wrapper. It's not a joint. Just because it kind of looks like a joint does not mean it is a joint. Okay, what does this Subway sandwich look like again? We did already draw one of these, and I deleted it when I decided to change how he worked. Right, images. Ugh. No, I want a wrapped sandwich. There we go. It's got like yellow and green on it. That's good enough. Okay. Green. Yellow. Oh, something like that. Hot spot down here. doesn't really matter that it looks ugly mid-rotation, because it's going to be constantly rotating, you're never going to see it, but... Just do this real quick. Go. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Good. Good, good click and play. Good click and play. Good, good click and play. Good click and playing, everyone. won't be difficult to see. We have things we can do to fix it if it is. Okay, so. Are we using any of Drake's alterable values? Let's see. Don't believe we are. Don't believe we are. Okay, so. Nathan Drake ever fly? Nathan Drake hanging on to stuff. He hangs on to things. But nothing small enough that I can, like, just toss it in there. Does he ever hang onto like a rope? Or like a rope ladder? I mean, I see photos of ropes near him. 
Maybe a rope could work. Okay, what would a rope look like? 644 AD, let's see. and double it. Okay, what's a rope? I don't know what a rope is. This does the broken lines thing. It's annoying. Yeah. It's one complete line, so I was had so hard to do in the 90s. Why, why were complete lines such a luxury in the 90s? side of the rope. Ugh, it's gonna be a pain, isn't it? Okay, that's not so bad. I mean, it's kind of a fat rope, but it'll do. What's a good rope color? This, maybe? This. That's more ropey. Yeah, it's kind of like a rope. There are the ropey kind of lines and stuff. this fucker. Well, that might be okay. Rope. Where's my code to drop? This is the code. Okay, so let's null this out. We're not doing that right now. So, instead, if all pro value is less than zero, and rope, what do we want to control it with? What do we want to control this with? Alterable value, maybe. Value C equals zero. We're gonna set ultra value C to one. And then we're going to, where's my rope? Like 
position relative to Drake. It's gonna be like up here or something, you know? value C equals 1, then we're always going to position him relative to the rope's action point. Alright, let's see what this does. Theoretically, he should hop onto a rope instead of falling down. He did. Rope's a little too high, though. So let's bring it down a bit. It shouldn't be too high this time. But, okay. So now this rope needs to move a little bit. And I got a plan for this. We're gonna do... ...ease, simple path movement to have the rope go up and down a bit like it's a... Not that fast. Like it's hanging on a helicopter and it's going up and down a little bit, you know? There we go. Okay. I see the rope kind of dipping on the top, so it should be working fine once it's visible. Yep, there we go. Okay. So we have to make the sandwiches not come right back up immediately. Um, where is my sandwich controller? Not using ultra value B. We can use ultra value B probably. Let's add one more thing. Let's make it so it won't happen if Nathan is on his rope. Okay, so. <clears throat> Ultra value C equals one, and the rope's ultra value A equals zero. We're gonna move the rope to the left. Not like that. X position minus four. For the opposite. Plus four. Come on. Okay. And then we want to be want it to be able to turn around. So if X position is less than eight, we'll turn it around. 
if it's greater than... Hey Siri, what's 640 minus 8? 640 minus 8 is 632. I'm the opposite. Alright, let's see what happens with this. left and right. So what I want to happen is while he's going left and right, the rope should also be lowering more and more. And while he's doing that, this is when he's going to be throwing his sandwich attack. Okay, so. so let's see if it's less than... 32. We're gonna lower its position. This might be too much, but we can always adjust it. Uh, I hate doing this. Hey Siri, what's 640 minus 32? Math is so fucking stupid. All right, let's see if that works. Subway, we're winners. How am I alive? When do I need to know what six forty minus thirty two is? When does that ever matter? That up. Okay, hold on. That should be greater, not less. Subway, we're winners I could do basic subtraction, but I'm gonna have to literally go 640, 639, 638, 637, and I'm not gonna do that. See, it went down a little bit. Went down a little bit. Okay. What's 40 minus 8? 39? 38? 37? Are you happy? 36? Who gives a fuck? Okay, so for ultra value C equals 1. And the Y value. Here's the thing, I don't want it to drop too far. Let's see, if Y position is greater or equal to zero. If it's greater or equal to zero. We don't want it to drop below zero, so we'll just set the position zero. Theoretically, once it hits zero, it shouldn't go any further down, which means we, the, the rope itself shouldn't drop, you know, past the point where it's drawn.
Yep, it's, it doesn't drop below that point. So what? I guess we can start with the sandwich. I was about to think of the next step, but honestly, there needs to be sandwiches. Okay, so C equals one. Every we start with three. Every three seconds, we're gonna shoot a sandwich in the direction of Laura. Fifteen. See how that works. And if the sandwich fucks off, it explodes or something. Watch with the backdrop. Destroys. If. It's outside of the play area. It's destroyed. Okay, let's see what happens with this. not often enough. Clearly three is not often enough. Up. That is a start. No, not one minute and three seconds. Okay. That one, just for now, at least. Subway, we're winter seat. For a first round, that's alright. Not the hardest thing to dodge, but for the start, that's fine. And then we have to have him drop down somewhere. The rope. The rope was poking down. I'll just move it up a little. There. Okay. So. We need code to make him drop down. This code that... Hmm. This code right here. See, here's the thing. Hmm. So we have code that initiates the platform's rising. When everything is at rest and Drake is not, you know, flying around. Rather than that...
and should probably happen depending on where Drake drops down. It's the only thing that makes sense. So. Ultra value C equals 1, and... Okay, let's do this. We, we have to roll a number at the beginning here. We can probably just tack it onto the rope and use the rope for uh, storage for the number. Let's see. That's where I initiate the rope coming in. So, let's set alterable value C. Random number. I'm assuming that's gonna give me a number between one and three, but now we have to go check because I don't fucking know. It's a collision of object when you're flying, sign, off screen, math test. RNG test, here we go. Well, this sets to random three when, when we click. Okay, let's see. Okay, so when we do three, it's gonna do a random number between zero, one, and two. So if we want it to literally be one, two, or three, we just have to add one to the result. Okay, that makes sense. Where was I here? Right, the rope initialization. You want to set it to random three plus one. That way we get actual one, two, or three, rather than zero, one, or two. So, so once the rope's Y position is greater or equal to like, I don't know, minus eight. position we want to drop Drake in for this one, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, times thirty-two, plus sixteen-ish, see, four thirty-two. Drake's on the rope, if the rope is really low down, and ultra value C, which is what we're using to track where we want to drop Drake, is 3, then we also want to check if the rope's position, or 32, let's, let's say greater than 416, Less than four forty eight. Once we're in that range, we're going to 
set C to zero. Start falling. Okay. And then for the rope, with alterable value, with Drake's alterable value C equals zero, and Y position is greater than I don't know that much. We're gonna start rising it up. That was very... Slapdash, let's see what happens. Let's see how it works. Epic game, thank you. This is an incredible... Amazing video game I'm making. It's gonna be game of the year 2020. 2020. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Okay, I went too big. Two forty. Fourth, and I just realized I'm, I'm sending the value to something random, so there's a good chance of a 1 in 3 chance he's not going to do the drop. Yep, okay, so I need to forcibly set that value to 3 just for testing purposes. Okay, where did I set that value? This one. Okay. I'm going to set it to 3. And then we'll set it back to random later. So let's see. Theoretically, he should drop off the rope once he's low down enough. Maybe I didn't quite calculate how... Oh, no, there it goes. Now, the problem there is that the sandwiches started rising a little too quickly. Initiating, initiating, initiating up here. He also has to not be playing the f the falling animation. That way, he has time to fall down. Theoretically, he should be allowed time to fall before the sandwiches rise now.
There we go. And it should repeat for now. But we're gonna have to start implementing the other... I want two more towers of sandwiches. One for the center and one for the left side of the screen. This is working surprisingly well, all things considered. Okay, so we need more towers of sandwiches. Oh boy. Oh lord. Now how many wide is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So center has to be six, left one can be seven. Guess we should start building out some more towers. Where did I put? Fuck no, not bad. There we go. I can actually see something. Let's save and start building another tower. Jump over there. Two, three, four, five, six. Like that. And then I guess Drake can be kind of over here ish. Whole thing kind of like that. See if that would work. Pop down some grab points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, two, four. Two, two, four. Okay. So we're gonna, for the sake of testing, we're gonna change the part where we're setting it to three. We're gonna set it to one for the first one. It's gonna be the new one we're setting up. Now we have to control the rise. I'm thinking about this one. Does this have to specifically be minus three? Wouldn't this be just any minus number? Yeah, it could be any minus one. Okay, we'll change that. Okay, so now the parts up here we have to kind of clone these suckers, which is annoying, but we'll do it. Position is what's important. So when that was greater or equal than 416. Now we went less or equal to 224. And when I 
copy the event down. I don't know why I'm bothering with the reappear part of that, but we'll keep it there anyway just for consistency. Oops, fuck. See, I was trying to create a new event right there, but I can't because click and play is annoying. Like that. Okay, we'll just do it manually. It's annoying. We're gonna do it manually. Negative. Alright, so that'll raise that. And this will raise the other. Then we need the opposite for going down. We also have to make sure these are in the right order. We want the dot first and then the sandwich. is annoying. Just gonna do it in steps. There. Okay. Opposites, which will be plus. And then we'll do the one for the sandwich. Be less than or equal, not greater than or equal. Okay, get the burger dropping. Burgers, sandwiches, I'm calling them burgers. code here has to be copied so we can make a version for one. Okay, let's figure out the range here. I want them to be kind of here, so that's 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One ninety two. One ninety two is right here. Let's add like eight to it. Two hundred. Greater than two hundred. Less than, I don't care, 216. All right, let's see what happens. to the other platform once we get to that point. I think I set the value wrong, so let me see here. Nope, I see what I did wrong. I mixed these two up. That's all I did. Now he should drop on the correct side of the screen. Oops. Okay. The wrong tower is coming up. Um, I think I know why. Because the code we have here right now is set up to always do that tower. Setting A to 3. versions of this for each position he could drop down into. Let's say greater than 416 for that one. Let's make sure that still works before we start copying the events. to do, um, copy that event and do one for the other position. Which will be less than... Where is it? Less than 224. Okay. What's the base event here? It's... Boss state equals 1. Okay. One, not zero. Right. X equals four sixteen. Radar equals four sixteen. What is this? 
two two four. Less than or equal to two two four. Do this, but we're gonna set A to one. Okay, so theoretically the other tower should rise once he drops on it in its general area. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay. I know why that's happening. You see this top sandwich block right here? We need one over here as well, or it'll read it wrong. Because otherwise it doesn't see that it's rose up to where it's supposed to be. Jumping in these sandwiches is unfortunately a little glitchy, but that's just how it's going to be. Okay. down. Platforms are up. The reason he's all the way up there is because that sandwich is blocking his head. So I can pop that sandwich in another spot, actually. Just move it to, like, over here. Let me tweak this a little. Da -da, maybe that'll work. here, we would do damage to him, and then he's gonna fuck off in his rope. He just goes for his attack run. Somehow I did fall damage to myself, I'll have to look at that at some point. I want to make sure that climb is doable, so we gotta try that again. See, there's that collision bug we were getting. It's just a little annoying at the very end. Uh oh, Laura's stuck. Laura's unstuck. <laughs> it's, it's possible, it's just a little annoying. So I think we need some code to when the platforms drop and unsticks Laura. 
I'm gonna try that climb one more time, because I'm still not 100% sure on it. Okay, we need some code to unstick Laura. The easiest thing to do would be if Laura's in that state and not colliding with the grab point perfectly, we would, you know, make her stop. But we don't have the option to invert the collision and click and play. Do it, you have to set A and B of the grab helper to zero. And also restore the animation sequence. Is there anything else we do? No. Where's a good spot to do that? See, that's a little tricky, because I don't want to have to have a catch-all for that. I, I want to have a way to... I don't want to have a bunch of events tacked onto every time something moves to have to check if Laura's grabbing to ungrab her. Please. Oh, God damn it. Let me check something. Nathan, you're supposed to keep dropping. You're not supposed to just stop there. That's not how you be Nathan Drake. Stop this. Please. I think it crashed for some reason. And the task. Got to pop back in there. I'm using the track... the track point on the... ThinkPad right now since the mouse died. It's really annoying. Okay, I wanted to test something because I saw something kind of weird with the, um, what do you call it? With the code for grabbing. I want to test something real quick. The fuck? Why is that hanging? Why is that hanging? something else here. I'll try a different level.
when the game tries to play a sound effect, the game cr the game crashes. Okay, I think we have to restart the computer. Something got fucked up. We gotta restart the sucker. Something's going on with the sound. It's not even playing the sound it's supposed to play right now. Alright. Don't know how that happened, but we're gonna have to do a hard, dirty reboot. It's not working right either. Okay. Just hold down that power button. Ugh, sound driver must have gotten fucked up. God, I have to be. Sound seems to be back. Let's see if the game doesn't crash, and then I'm gonna test that thing I saw in the code for the grabbing that wasn't working right. Subway, we're winter seat. Up. That's what I thought. I saw something in the code that was saying that when you're hanging and the grab helper is zero and you press the shoot button, you can shoot. But I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Because ultra value A is mapped to something else. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I just thought that was weird. I need something to unstick Laura when she's grabbing onto something during a transition state. I wish I had a simple way to detect the transition state without having multiple events looking for it. How do I easily detect the transition state? Because what I want is, I, I need code in here that's going to detect if the tower of sandwiches has either started moving or stopped moving. And when that happens, when it hits that start or stop, it needs to <coughs> also check if Laura is climbing, holding on to something. And if she is, to make that stop happen, to make her stop climbing. Oh. Gamers, I need to pee. Like, I, I really need to pee. I really need to pee. Um, let, me, let me go pee. I like our work. Okay, I'm gonna go pee. Is there nothing on screen?
Gamers, is there... Has there been nothing on screen since I rebooted? Anyone? Anyone? No? No, as in, no, there's been nothing on screen? You saw Sonic, and then it died. Okay, Sonic killed the... Oh, Sonic. I know why. It's the uh, resolution. It's an unsupported resolution. Are crashed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go pee. Let me take a quick pee. Okay, just a quick pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, right, we're trying to figure out a fix for Laura's grabbing issue. Hmm. What? No, I'm not trying to do that. It's the step-through editor. I don't want the step-through editor. generated a bunch of stupid events. Uh, this happens sometimes when shit gets fucked up. Forget what option does it. One of these options generates a bunch of stupid events that I don't want. Create default events, that one. Even though it's unchecked, as you can see it's unchecked, it went ahead and decided to do it anyway. Just annoying. These fuckers.
there was no reason for it to generate all this. Oh, look at all this shit! You know why I did this? I think it did this because I opened the step through editor. In fact, you know what? Holy crap. I'm reopen this. Yep, it was the step through editor that fucked with it. Okay, so. What determines a few things? I don't think I have any one event that triggers once it hits the top. There's stuff when it hits the bottom, but not when it hits the top. had an idea. Let me just take a quick look to see how this would visually work. Subway, we're winners eat. Okay, I have an idea. Here's my idea. So, we're going to detect the position of the blocks if the Y position equals zero and... Only once when it loops, and we're gonna test this by playing a sound. We're gonna play a sound. Chicken. Okay, let's see what happens. We should hear chicken when it hits the top. Only once. Per time, it happens. Only once, which is good. Now I want to see the left tower do the same thing and give us one instance of chicken. Chicken. Okay, so we can use that to detect when it hits the top. So here's what we're going to do. When it hits the top... Laura player is playing the animation of grab. We're gonna undo it. We're gonna animation, we're gonna restore the animation sequence, and we're gonna set the values here to zero. That should unstick her. Now we need one for the bottom. When are we making that rope come in? Because that would be a good event to kind of piggyback with. So if ultra value A is less than zero. C equals okay. okay, let's clone that event. Multiple value A of platform controller is less than zero. Let's bring this up here. I want it to happen just before the real event. If I can find the fucking thing. This happens... No, the rope happens when it's about to drop down, not when it hits the very top. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. I don't know why I thought that would work. That's stupid. What else can we do? 
Maybe we could detect the position of Nathan Drake? Y400. What was the other one? There was one for the other direction. 32. Okay, let's try this. If... His Y position is less than 32, only once when the event loops, play the chicken sound. Okay, let's see. If we use that for what we're doing here. Subway, we're winners eat. Up. Did not trigger there. I wonder where he is. What is his position? It's just kind of Crawl it along and see see if we can find it. Subway, we're winner seat. Chicken. Okay, now I want to see if the chicken triggers once he's on the uh, the rope. If so, we have to add some more onto this. Does not seem to, but just in case, let's add one more event. We'll only do this when alterable value C equals zero. Okay. And then let's add this. Do the same thing. Okay, so now, theoretically, if we get stuck in a grab, the grab should get cancelled when the tower starts shifting. Let's see. I'm gonna see if I get ungrabbed. I don't, but I think I know why. I think it's because I was immediately re-grabbed because I was still overlapping the thing. Does make sense. That does make sense. What we need is to make it so the grab can only happen when it's stationary. I just realized something. I detected the sandwich hitting the top of the screen twice. This detects if the sandwich block equals zero, which is when it hits the top, and then it ungrabs. This detects when Nathan Drake is less than 64 units from the top, which is basically the same thing, and breaks it. So this was stupid. I got confused. I got confused. Let's try this. Y position. Let's 
I don't want to do this, but let's replace this with detecting if the shit's up there, because I can't think of an easier way to do it. How do I get this up here? Oh. Um, Senka messaged me earlier. She said she's good with the baby downstairs, so if I want to go a little longer... That should be fine. So I guess that's what we'll do. We'll go a little longer. This should detect if there's nothing on screen. So I want to test something real quick to see if that works. The solution isn't finished, but it should be getting closer. Subway, we're winners eat. Gamers, I hear Cinco downstairs making loud pitch, loud high pitched ew noises. So I have, I have a suspicion that uh, Subway, we're winners eat. I have a suspicion that the baby, the baby might have uh, might have made a Bethesda game in her diaper. See how it dropped down? Okay. So let's add one more thing on here, and I hate to do this, but... I'm gonna do the same thing. The reason I hate to do this, to compare if there's any objects in a space, is I... Well, I can't say for sure, I have the... get the impression that it's like intensive like it takes up a lot of like you know oomph to do it I kind of hear Cinco laugh crying game or something go check on her see what the fuck she's doing this is not Gamers, I'm back. So I thought that something funny might have happened, or like the baby might have like pooped on him or something. But no, she was just laugh crying because the baby did a really stinky poop. That's it. That's all. Anyway, let me get my things back on. Okay, what was I doing? Okay, so I don't really like using this com test for objects in a zone thing because I have a feeling, I can't confirm it, but I have a feeling that it's like, it's like, you know, intensive for a click and play to do. 
And I don't want it running every frame, but this might be the easiest solution. Okay, so this should only let you grab if... Wait. No, right now this won't let you grab at all. Shit. Okay, hold on. We don't want you grabbing while the things are falling. So don't be stupid, let's just use what we already have. The platform controller. The value of A will be less than zero if it's falling. So, as long as it's greater or equal to zero, it's okay to grab. Gamers, I don't want us talking about internet drama. Please shut the fuck up, okay? I don't know why you guys can't stop with that shit. Okay, theoretically, as long as the things are going down, we should not be able to grab. But we should be able to grab, you know, now. Up. Yes. Up. Okay. Up. Mm. She was still grabbing. Greater equal to zero. Platform controller. Let me just make sure I'm using the right values here for the platform controller. Right, it goes neg it goes negative when you're falling. Yeah, basically, I want the the hanging to stop happening when it starts going down. Here's the idea. This is detecting, trying to detect for when it hits the bottom. Let's detect when it's just not at the top. There we go, we dropped. Okay, good. So that should take care of the grabbing bugs. We shouldn't be left grabbing in midair from this point on. Another thing we're gonna wanna do is make it so we can't rise with the sandwiches. What did I... I fucked up this layout. <laughs> layouts possible because it looks like I fucked it up and didn't realize it. Sure, this layout is possible. 
then maybe we can get the middle tower, and then maybe we can work on having these not push you up while they're rising, because that would make it too easy. Oh, I didn't move that sandwich in this iteration. Hold on, this has to be over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again, yeah, as far as it goes. I don't want to have you go, like, loop through a curve here, because it's a little annoying. Maybe we do it like this instead. Walk in place if you hold down and try to walk. Oop, fuck. The fall damage is a little fucked up. Which is a little concerning. Little concerning. I kind of wonder if I should disable fall damage just for the boss fight. I might have to, to be honest, with how this works. Just reduce it, it's not that simple. Okay, I, I didn't- I noticed something weird about the tower here, I want to double check. That's what I was afraid of, you can skip the one on the left. Urgh. I guess that's okay. Uh... Okay, where do we do the fall damage? Where's the fall helper? Because look at all this shit. Like, it looks like I tried to take fall damage into consideration, though. I did try to take it into consideration. We could always null it out by setting A to zero constantly, I think. Maybe we should just do that. It might not be worth... It might- it really might not be worth having fall damage active here because of how glitchy things are right now. Like, just for the boss fight. Actually, increasing the value of this is it up here. This, this one. Yep, it's the first thing I do. Okay, let's just null this event out, and we should be okay. And we'll test it once we're back in. Let's make sure the fall damage is properly nulled out. Up, 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 up. 
that. I think it's fine. Okay, so we should be okay. For the boss fight, I think it's fine that it doesn't, you know. Yeah. Okay, now as for making it so that you don't collide with the sandwiches while they're moving, that's a little tricky. So let's just do something kind of nasty instead. If there's no sandwiches up at the very top of the screen and Laura collides with a sandwich. And... And the platform helper is positive, which means they're going upward. And we're just gonna, like, move her down to the bottom of the screen. Wherever that is, let's check. Not like that, you big stinker. Four... Like, four fifteen-ish. So this should pop us to the ground if we try to climb up them. Well, well they're, you know, still going. Shouldn't pop us immediately if we're going downward. No, it doesn't look good. Now let's see. Theoretically, if I try to ride these up, I should not be able to. So let's see. No, that didn't work at all. <laughs> Why didn't that work? Is this event triggering at all? Let's play a sound. Theoretically, we should hear the chicken sound. It's actually colliding. But now that I think of it, I might know why. Or not. Let's try something else. Let's try my alternate idea. Rather than detecting the collision between the player and it, we will detect... ...our ground detector. I really hate- this is Earthworm Jim 2 music, I really hate the fact that I fucking love Earthworm Jim 2 music, but now I have no idea if the person who, you know, we all thought wrote it actually wrote it or not. Like, where the fuck did this music come from? There's no way to know it no more. Chicken. Seems to have worked, though we got stuck grabbing, but it's okay. Probably. Ha. It's not that it's nobody knows, it's that the guy who composed it kind of was revealed to be, uh, the, you know, 
A liar. Okay. Go back to the grab. Shingo, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean. Add one more event to detect for the thing here. Is this the right one? shouldn't be getting grabbed. We shouldn't be grabbing onto the grab points as they rise up now. We shouldn't have that weird grab bug. We're not, we're not getting grabbed by it. Now, my one concern, and we're going to test this now, is getting stuck in the block of sandwiches at the bottom. Subway, we're winners eat. So let's test that. We're just going to stand right here and see what happens when the sandwiches rise up. stuck in there. <laughs> That's exactly what I was worried about. Uh, is there even a simple way to get around that? Because I'm really not sure if there is. You can kind of run jump out of it, but you know. Is there a simple way to prevent that, or should we just let the player get stuck? I'm not sure. I'm genuinely not sure. Just let Laura get stuck in there if it happens. Ugh, this is a hard decision to make because fixing it, preventing it, or unsticking you when you're there could be annoying. Hey Siri, what's 32 times 3? 32 times 3 is 96. Hey Siri, what's 480 minus 96? 480 minus 96 is 384.
Okay, what if we make it so you only snap down to the ground in that case when the blocks are higher than down there? Let's see what'll happen. rise with just the block down here. annoying. I can't think of a good way to work around this without, like, really getting elbow deep into the into the events here. Oh, we could probably hard code something. It'd be annoying, but This way, but this might be the quickest, easiest way to do it, you know? Just hard code detect if she's in there and move her out. Subway, we're winter season. And right now, I have it coded wrong. If I go over there regardless, it's gonna pop me out. So not detecting like enough of it.
Check this out. It'll only do it if both Laura and Burgers or sandwiches are there. Subway, we're winners eat. Let's see if anything happens with this. I don't like doing it this way. It's hard coding and it's stupid, but it might be the easiest way to do this. I dislike it, but it seems to be working, so that might be what we do. It's the quickest way. Subway, we're winter seat. Colonel Panic, that's that's baby diarrhea. I'm sorry they gave you baby diarrhea with your burrito. Up. 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 Alright, that seems mostly okay. We should probably see about creating a middle lane here, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. Eight is the beginning. Nine and eleven to twelve. Eight to twelve is going to be the center. Distance, but we'll see. So I said 8 to 12. Man, I just realized I have to go and do all that code again for the rising and falling platforms. Ugh. Make this a little easier by zooming things out. Oh, not like that, you big drip. Okay, let's see what we want to drag this up to. Does this actually make anything easier? Or make it worse? Seems okay. Sort of. Well, that might have made things worse rather than easier. I think that made things significantly worse, actually. <laughs>
pop it here and then squeeze it in. Right there. Okay, ultra value of POA. Ooh. This stinker, and then we have to do this shit. So, exposition. Greater, greater than two, greater or equal to 256. But also, less than or equal to 384. Unfortunately, duplicate these events again, which is annoying, but I only have to do it a few more times. Probably. Sandwiches. Like that. And then we have to have the opposite. Ugh. Negative two. There is it. Come on. it and then we gotta drag the stupid event up one more time Dropping down from the rope should be a lot easier. Actually, what position would that be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This should be fine. All right. Yep, I did. 
Alright. We'll be for two. So we want four hundred. Less than four sixteen. Oh boy. Now we're going to set this to actually be random if we can get away with it. Where's the first event, though? I need to see that. I'm getting confused, because I thought I set this in two separate places. Here's another spot where I need to do that. Okay. I think. Ugh, I'm so confused. Okay, so where did I shove that event that I was just looking at? How far up is it? Squeeze one more event up here. What did I put it exactly? Well, that was close to here, right? Because I think the first time Drake comes in, a random tower is going to pop up instead of the one that's directly below him. Okay, there's a 1 in 3 chance it was going to be the correct one, but let's see what happens. Theoretically, I think I have it set up so he should drop onto a random tower. I believe that should be the middle one, but something's not working, right? Less than 384. So 
that wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Might have to be seven. I mean, this shouldn't make a huge difference, it should still be moving. I think I got the numbers off in a few spots, and that's why the middle's not working. At least the rightmost tower comes up like it's supposed to, so that's good. I don't have to worry about that, at least. <laughs> Gassy. Okay, it shows the right tower, that's fine, because it's randomly picking between the three. So I want to see... I think the middle tower is not working right. I need to see it happen. That left tower is grabbing pieces from the center tower. That's not good. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, nine, two should be the barrier over there. this again. So right now the middle tower, as far as we know, is broken. The left one was grabbing one extra block that I think I have fixed now, but we have to check. Oh. Middle tower's actually working. Wasn't ready to try and climb it. Okay, let's let it roll a bit and then we're gonna see what happens. not ready to try climbing it, so... Okay, we got left tower, and left tower has the correct number of blocks. Good. Okay. Yep. Now let's wait for the right tower to... the right tower, the middle tower to be selected again, so that I can test to make sure it's good. Middle. So let's see. Oh god. That one might be too tall. Actually, it's okay. It's just a little buggy. Kind of want to test it again because I did not like how we phased through there. But other than the placement of the middle block, the one troublesome middle block, the towers seem to be working now. It's randomly picking a tower, they're rising and falling, and that's working for the tower phase. Because you gotta remember, the whole boss fight can't just be this. It's gonna be 
early phase, I guess, and maybe his attacks can get weird, or the amount of time you have changes. Something's gotta happen. Okay, I was able to climb that time. Maybe it was a fluke. Could have been a fluke. Could have been a fluke. But either way, there we go. We have all three towers. They come up, they go down. Drake has a basic attack. This is a good phase one we've worked out. So we just have to work... Now we just have to work out, you know, the damage. How the phases will advance. You know, and just kind of work out the details on that. Well, that's not so bad. It doesn't seem like we made a lot of progress, but we kind of did make some good progress with getting that rolling. You know? Something happened. Something's working. I have anything cool on here. I don't really have quick two test. It's brown. You ever heard of quick two test? It's very dark. Very dark test. I can't see shit. I can't see shit because of how dark it is. God, Quake 2 fucking sucks. Dead. Oh, where'd you come from? Get out of here. Is auto run enabled here, or is this just how slow everyone moves? Can I bunny jump? Oh, the movement feels so fucked right now. Oh, bad guy! Any shotguns or something for me? Just for me? Special for me? Special just for me? Oh fuck, where'd you come from? Go away! Go away! But it's Romero's fault this game is so dark. Get the shells? Okay, where's the shotgun though? Stop playing uh, hurt animations and not being hurt. I hear a man yelling. I don't see. Oh, I see him now. What? Is there another man? How many men are there? Oh, there he is. I found a man. Oh, he was up there. Okay. Him come, his head come off. All him head. I got tired of killing them with his, with his pew pew pistol. The pew pew pistol has tired me. I'm t I grow tired of pew pew pistol. Oh, that's not a door? You sure? Okay. Quake 1 is so much better than Quake 2, god damn it. 
Anyway, uh, it's been about three hours. I think we're done for the day here. I think we're done for the day oh, here. Hi, stupid. We've had a lot of fun on your crappy computer. Ugh. Please don't ever come back. I think we're done for the day here. Oh, Lord. All right. So there we go. We had a three hour stream. That's longer than longer than I thought we were going to have. So there you go. That's some good progress. That's some good stuff. We got the complexity of the towers worked out. So we should be able to work out the first few phases of the Nathan Drake fight before we move on to whatever the next phases are of the fight. So that's good. That's good. Um, so tune in on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern for an hour-long mini-stream playing more of The Sims 2. At that point, we can discuss what the plan is for the next stream, because normally I would stream the next stream on Friday at 7 p.m. But since I have to go to work on Friday and then come home and Cinco will have no sleep, I don't know if we can do that. So we might move the Friday stream. We might move the Friday stream to Thursday. That might be what we end up doing. We'll talk about that on Tuesday. And if that's what happens, it'll happen. And then tune in next week, 1 p.m. Saturday for more game dev. Okay. Thursday permanent, at least until... Not... Permanent, permanent, but it, for the foreseeable future until this shit works better, because I, I don't know what else can we do. You know? We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'm going to go make chicken salad with, like, weak old chicken. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Count your hair, and then post your numbers of hair onto your favorite social media. Uh, at least be decent to people. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And if you figure out who 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 stole my um, if you figure out who stole my power bank, let me know. Let me know. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here.